So we're going to be working a little bit with the target revenue sheet. And right now, a lot of these cells are locked. They have protection on. And so we're going to select C5 through C10. Let's go into our home ribbon. And then we're going to take a look. at the format drop down menu here and you can see that lock cell is turned on so to turn it off all we have to do is click and then if you want to verify it is no longer on and there are several other ranges in here as well that have the cells locked and we are going to unlock them so I5 through I10, we're going to select that. And then I'm going to press control because there are several other ranges and I can do them at the same time. So I've got F5 through F10. My finger's on control still. And I've got L5 through L10. So I've got those three ranges selected. I'm going to release control. And then I'm going to press the F4 key to repeat the last command. Now I could go to format and hit lock again if I wanted, okay, or I can just press F4. Now if I double check, they should no longer be locked. Now if the F4 key doesn't work for you, by all means, click on format and unlock them manually. And at this point, they want us to save. And then they want us to protect the sheet. So let's go to review and we're going to hit protect sheet. And it's going to have the same password as the other one. So E lowercase E capital L two dash C six capital C six. And we will go ahead and confirm it. And now we're going to verify that things are working. So we'll go to B8 and try to delete. It's not going to let us. But in the ranges where we unlocked the cells, it is going to let us delete. Okay, so let's undo that. So any of those ranges, I think F was another one, where we unlocked cells, it is not protecting them. Okay, the ranges where we did not unlock, I think we did not unlock from E, it is protecting them. So that is something to keep in mind if you want to protect your cells. Okay, they need to be locked before you go in to protect them. So you're gonna go ahead and save this. And Keep it open because we are going to be using it in the next exercise as well.